that. Here is the arc reactor after taking it to Insomnia. It was quite the hit. I had quite a few people ask about it. It survived the travels there okay. However, on the travels home, if I turn it off, nope, turn it off, you can't see it. Don't know how well. Yeah, it can't be seen. Basically, what's happened is the metal rings in the middle of the reactor, they're just like bits of copper ring that slot in place, they have fallen out. It's not that difficult, it's a easy fix, put it back on the mode, I had it on while it insomnia. So I did have it on the pulse settings, like I say it drew quite a crowd, I ended up having to make a sign with my Twitter handle on there for people to be able to find me. Um, I've had a couple of people follow me on Twitter, one person DMing me, asking me more about it, if I sell them. Selling them is something I've considered. The kits themselves are cheap enough. Obviously, I'd make a few adjustments to the arc reactor itself if I did sell them. The copper bands in between each of the black brackets, I'd make them a lot thicker. Fill it out a bit more. As you can see, they're not filled in the greatest with what's supplied in the kit. But as a whole, I think it went down a hit. It's only temporarily mounted in there with a cable tie. It's now powered straight off the back of the PC. So it's got a constant feed of power. I'm probably going to leave it in there for the time being. I do quite, oh, excuse me. I do quite like it there. I'd prefer a better display. Um, I'm going to start working on the Iron Man damage chest piece at some point and put the arc reactor in there. And then obviously I can have it on the pulse mode like this. I can have it on the normal mode or my favourite mode is the damaged one. Which funnily enough, as it flickers and it's not so bright, you can see that ring right in the middle that's fallen out of place when it flickers again. Also, it's a simple enough fix. I just need to take the tempered glass off the side of my PC case and push it back into place, which isn't that difficult to do. What I'll do is I'll include a couple of photos at the end of this video that were taken at the Insomnia Gaming event. Obviously, if you do want to follow me, my Twitter and stuff like that is all in the video description. Um, do keep an eye out for future videos on this. I have got a couple of other ideas and videos planned that I will make in due course.